Leah here from LeahForSci.com, and in this video I will show you how to name thiols. A thiol is a molecule that has R bound to SH, where R represents the rest of the molecule and SH is your functional group. If you look on the periodic table, you have oxygen in the second row and sulfur directly below it on the third row. This means that oxygen and sulfur have the same valence electrons and therefore the same connectivity. Thiols, often called mercaptans, can be thought of as sulfur alcohols and will follow similar rules for naming. Let's compare these two molecules. On the left we have CH3OH, on the right we have the sulfur version which is CH3SH. For the alcohol, we identify the parent chain as having one carbon for a first name of meth, only single bonds gives me a last name of ane, and an alcohol functional group gives me the last name ol. Since I have two vowels, I have to drop the E for a final name of methanol. I approach the thiol in a similar way. Only one carbon gives me a first name of meth. Having single bonds gives me a last name of ane, and having a sulfur alcohol gives me a last name of thiol. Since thiol does not start with a vowel, I don't have to drop the E, and I get a final name of methane thiol. Now let's try this example using the rules that we've been applying in previous naming videos. The first step is to identify and highlight the parent chain, and number from the side that gives sulfur the lowest overall number. In this case I start numbering from the right, and get a total of five carbons for a first name of pent. Since I only have single bonds, I get a last name of ane, my functional group on this molecule is a thiol on carbon number 1, giving me 1 thiol. And I have a 2 carbon substituent on number 3, giving me 3 ethyl. Putting this name together, I start with my substituent, followed by the first name, last name, and then the functional group. This gives me a final name of 3 ethyl, 1 pentane thiol. When you have a cyclic thiol, you treat it the same way as you would a straight chain. You start by identifying the parent chain, in this case, six carbons in a ring. Since sulfur is the only functional group, I give it a number one, and can choose to number clockwise or counterclockwise for the rest of the carbons. Having six carbons gives me a first name of hex, the ring gives me a prefix of cyclo, and only single bonds gives me a last name of ane. I have one thiol, However, since it's my only functional group, the one will be understood and does not have to be included. Putting the name together, I get cyclohexane thiol. When you have a double bond in your molecule, the sulfur takes priority. I start by identifying and highlighting my parent chain, and numbering from the side that gives sulfur, rather than the double bond, the lowest number. Four carbons gives me a first name of butte. Having a double bond on carbon 3 gives me a last name of 3-ene. I have a sulfur on carbon 1, giving me a functional group of 1-thiol. Putting the name together, I get 3-butene-1-thiol. When both a thiol and alcohol occur on the same molecule, the alcohol gets the higher priority, and the thiol will be demoted from functional group to substituent with a prefix of sulfonyl or mercapto. I start by highlighting the parent chain and numbering to give alcohol rather than thiol the lowest number. I have a total of three carbons for a first name of prop and only single bonds for a last name of ane. Since alcohol is my functional group, I get one ol, and sulfur being my substituent, my prefix can be three sulfonyl or three mercapto. I've seen both used, so determine which one your professor asks for. Putting both versions of the name together, I get as follows. For the sulfonyl substituent, I get 3-sulfonyl-1-propanol. When using mercapto, I get 3-mercapto-1-propanol. Are you struggling with organic chemistry? Are you looking for information to guide you through the course and help you succeed? If so, download my ebook, 10 Secrets to Acing Organic Chemistry, using the link below or visit layofersci.com slash orgo secrets. That's O-R-G-O secrets. For information regarding online tutoring, visit layofersci.com slash orgo tutor. That's O-R-G-O tutor. 
If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and even share it with a friend or two. If you have any questions regarding this video, leave a comment below or contact me through my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Leofersai. There will be many related videos posted over the course of the semester, so go ahead and click the subscribe button to ensure that you don't miss out.